I don't believe it's the end of the world. I don't believe it's the end of mankind. March 4th, 9.45 p.m. Residents of Staten Island report of flickering lights and strange sounds coming from TV systems and radio sets. A crew of electricians are sent out to inspect the power grid. No malfunctions or tampering is reported. March 11th, 1.15 p.m. A mysterious fog engulfs Manhattan for five hours. Believing it to be a gas attack, residents are evacuated. Residents also report hearing odd noises, describing them to sound like metal bending and scraping against each other. 38 people weren't recovered. No bodies or items of clothing from the missing persons were found. March 22nd. 7.36 p.m. Subway guard reported an unusual event. Ten 1980s-styled subcars entered the station on 167th Street. After reviewing security tapes, it is believed that 58 people boarded those cars. A crew of subway maintenance workers and police are sent into the sub-tunnels to find the cars and the persons. After four days of searching, the cars and their occupants were listed as missing. March 31st, 9.16 a.m. A ferry traveling between Staten Island and Brooklyn stopped midway in its journey. The Coast Guard was dispatched to investigate the ferry to see if there were any hostage situations. When they boarded the vessel, the outside and interior was coated in blood, human organs, and tissue matter. Those who weren't torn apart had their bodies fused to the walls and ceilings. All 145 passengers aboard the vessel were reported as deceased. The event was later covered up by special forces units. April 3rd, 11.21 a.m. Multiple phone calls in the Queens area report of birds falling dead from the sky. Bird corpses were tested for any diseases or poisons. All tests came back negative. April 5th, 8.47 a.m. Prisoners from Rikers Island stage a riot. Special Forces units are called in to quell the riot. The prisoners who attacked the Special Forces units were described to have pale skin, bulging veins, foam from the mouth, and bleeding from several orifices. Prison staff claimed that the inmates involved in the riot had been complaining of insomnia and psychosis days before. They also said that the inmates were growing more and more hostile in the days leading up to the riot. All those involved in the riot, including witnesses, were executed, including the staff. April 12th, 10.55 p.m. Coast Guard reports of massive amounts of fish surfacing above the water, appearing to have corrosive damage to their bodies. The waters around Queens and Brooklyn had become extremely acidic. Areas near the water were closed off until further notice. April 21st, 6.35 a.m. In the early hours of the morning, the Brooklyn Bridge suddenly collapsed, taking around 216 people with it. Leaked video footage revealed that something tried to lift the bridge up, but ended up collapsing it. Almost all of the footage that has been leaked has been scrubbed from the internet. May 1st, 4.18 p.m. A series of explosions go off from the sewer tunnels beneath Manhattan. $18 million worth of damages are reported, and 36 people are counted as dead. A supposed gas leak was blamed, but investigators couldn't find any evidence. May 3rd, 2.09 a.m. A massive flash of light disturbs the residents of Queens. 
In the morning, investigators called in special forces units to help them with cleanups in the area. May 9th, 10.16 a.m. Reports from all over New York City reported of people looking up to the sky, mumbling for five minutes before leaving the area. May 11th, 7.07 p.m. A group of people gathered in McCarran Park wearing blue robes. They began convulsing before dropping dead. Coroners came to the conclusion that the members of this group took cyanide capsules in a sort of suicide pact. May 13th, 6.46 p.m. Millions of residents reported that they were receiving phone calls from the dead, specifically dead family members, telling them to quote, join us, before deafening screams echoed through the phone lines. The screams were so loud that around 317 people were hospitalized. May 15th, 3.30 p.m. Subway guard reported that the train cars from March 22nd had arrived into the station. SWAT team and special forces entered the station to inspect the cars. All 58 passengers were found. All but one was alive. The bodies had severe lacerations, bruises, bite marks, boils, blisters, and strange symbols carved into their hands. The lone survivor was an elderly lady named When being questioned, she lunged out to attack the personnel. Agents shot her to death. Last words were Niftu, an Arabic word. May 20th, 12 a.m. All of the children present in New York City vanished. No traces of their disappearance was ever found. May 21st. On May 21st, 2021, torrential rains began to barrel down upon all of New York City. Citizens reported seeing up to 50,000 people walking together in the rain. All of the people outside, walking together, poured oil on themselves before lighting themselves aflame. The people began to ascend into the sky towards a bright, blinding light. Reports from all over the world reported the exact same thing happening in major metropolitan cities. People covered in oil, setting themselves on fire, and then ascending into the sky. Three hours later, those who were left behind were plunged into darkness. There was no sun, no moon, no stars, nothing.